What is up guys, it's me Vlad and on the yesterday's Gorilla Tag update theory video, many of you guys actually commented your own theories in the comments. And I found this one guy in particular who has commented his theory about the Gorilla Tag horror update, which actually blew my mind, man, because he commented so many different clues that I haven't seen before. And he actually suggested some proof behind his research. Bro, and I decided to do my own a bit of, you know, some uh, detective work outside of the videos, you know, uh, just on my own. And his actual clues were right, man. So I decided to make this video for you guys because, bro, this actually blew my mind away. And uh, let's just get straight to, to it. So I got my mod menu over here. Uh, I don't recommend using mod menus in public lobbies. Obviously, use uh, mod menus uh, and other mods uh, on your own. You know, uh, don't annoy people with them. Use them in a private lobby. Modded, obviously. You know, everyone knows that stuff. Uh, but uh, by the way, guys, if you actually want to download a mod menu uh, or a mod, uh, I highly recommend watching my uh, how to download mods video. Uh, you know, I made uh, tutorials for both Quest and PC VR for both. Uh, you know uh, categories of people uh, but uh, you know uh, just a quick a quick ad here so let's actually get straight to the video so uh, obviously we will need uh, some platforms and obviously we'll need a uh, no clip I think uh, for this so as you guys may know we got our secret tunnel over here probably everyone knows about it uh, if you still don't know, uh, there are these torches that appeared in this update. This torch actually doesn't uh, go all the way to the wall, so we can actually place our hand through it. I think maybe we can actually find some glitches with this, but uh, this isn't the topic of our video. Uh, but uh, the person in the comments suggested that these torches are like an entrance to a dungeon. So as you guys may know, there is a game called uh, which uh, many people already already played and it kind of uh, blew up because of its horror game mode and uh, in its horror game mode you go down levels and you go down different levels and uh, if we actually go uh, behind our wall over here which uh, pretty much has our entrance the tunnel or whatever we can see that if we go up you know there isn't really a map that we can place because this uh uh, gorilla tag clouds map or whatever it's called the uh, load stairs so we cannot go up obviously then we have our forest map to the left which you know uh, wouldn't make sense to actually have another map on so uh, you know we can go to the right but to our right we have our ice map so what this person suggested is that we're going down and this actually kind of makes sense because, like, if we go forward, obviously you have the city skyscrapers and uh, they don't even unload inside of the city. Uh, so, you know, uh, the only logical thing we can go or we can do is go down. And, you know, this actually makes sense because just like Capuchin, just like other games, you know, who, who have dungeons, you know, usually dungeons use torches and stuff like that so this kind of suggested but usually those types of games go down you know maybe it's a uh, hell or something like that you know maybe it's just a normal dungeon but uh, you know usually when there you go down it gets it gets creepy because you know you cannot climb back up man and uh, you know think about this think about this for the sky map, we actually go up, you know, you can fall down. Uh, but how do we go up from this one tunnel over here? We don't. So my theory is that you go down and just like in Capuchin, uh, there will be a monster that will hunt you, you know? So you can go with your friends or whoever, you know, videos about horror game modes usually went big. And uh, I have seen, uh, and many people probably seen the test that uh, Lemming did with his NPC slash AI uh, named Lucy that was flying towards you. I feel like that was just a test, just like uh, this rocket over here that launches randomly for the whole lobby of people. 
And uh, if you guys actually uh, went to the computer and uh, seen the credits, we can see that there are 17 people working on Guerrilla Attack currently. And this suggests that <sighs> there is something big coming up. Because, I mean, obviously the Winter Sale update wasn't huge. The Valentine's Day update wasn't really that big either. We just got cosmetics. So, they have obviously been working on some, some new type of game mode. And uh, I feel like that it's horror. Also, what the other person has suggested in the comments is that if we go up over here, we can notice that there are three heads here. Three heads, uh, which are in the same corner with the actual uh, dungeon. Wait, what, what, what was, what is that text? Wait, what? Actually, I've never seen this. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, but um, we have this three monkey heads, which look down. And they're kind of like uh, clipping through the city skyscrapers. And some people suggested that there have been here for a while. But actually, if you go back in the uh, other updates, you can notice that the skyscrapers were different and they were placed differently. So uh, Lemming obviously kept these heads for a reason. And I feel like, you know, we already have some kind of a model uh, for uh, the, um, you know, uh, for the creepy gorilla. So uh, we already have some basis off of this. And I think Lemming just didn't have the time and capabilities previously to real, uh, uh, you know, make a real horror game mode. So I think since we have a huge developer picture, oh my god, I cannot speak, sorry guys. Uh, since we have a huge developer team already working on the game right now, uh, we have some chances of the horror game mode. Also, also what the other person has suggested is that we already have these textures over here, um, which uh, are used for different updates. For example, we have the Valentine's Day update, we have the winter update, we have this creepy umbrella stylish, and uh, I don't even know what's this, man. Looks like a Ukrainian flag, but uh, I don't know what's this, but we have this just random texture sitting here without any use. Uh, also, there's a coming sign soon, uh, or coming soon, soon, oh my god, <laughs> a coming soon sign, you know, here, which kind of didn't make sense to be here, because the coming soon sign was actually used only, bro, what is happening, the music started playing, bro, I'm genuinely creeped out. Uh, the uh, coming soon sign actually was only used uh, during the, uh, I believe, uh, music update, yeah, because uh, there were cosmetics that uh, were, you know, coming soon. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know why it's here, although, although, um, I think maybe it was also used uh, during the balloons when... Uh, uh, it was like noted that they are coming soon uh, But yeah, let me know your theories about this in the comments. Do you think we're getting a horror update? I think it would perfectly fit the theme uh, of Gorilla Attack since we have so many ghosts We have so much stuff here that many people just to make up off their minds, you know uh, And I feel like uh, the Gorilla Attack horror game mode will complement that perfectly uh, because it would be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be so creepy, man. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let me know your theories about this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Because I upload Guerrilla Tech videos daily. Uh, and keep you guys updated with everything. Uh, by the way, make sure to join my Discord. It's the first link down below in the description. We have a bunch of game sales there. So a bunch of game sales. A bunch of game coupons uh, for Quest. Um, uh, which are pretty much called Quest Referrals. So quest referrals, we have Beat Saber, Chapter 1, Chapter 2 of Saints and Sinners, Blade and Sorcery. I actually bought Bone Lab with a 25% sale off myself on the day of its release. 
Uh, so, uh, you know, I saved 10 bucks off of it and bought it for 30 instead of 40. And the game sales appear here whenever the game releases. So pretty much uh, Meta allows people to get their referrals as soon as the game releases and they get posted here. So that's how I bought Bone Lab uh, with a 25% sale uh, on the first day of its release. So just, you know, even if you're not uh, going to buy any game soon or if you don't want to chat, uh, you know, with people, uh, you may just use the Discord whenever the game releases. Just uh, get the link, bam, boom, uh, and uh, yeah. So make sure to join because you can save a bunch of games. Yeah, as you guys can see, we have Alvo game. Um, there's a bunch of different games. Ancient Dungeon, pretty cool game. Have seen the review on it. Highly recommend the Eleven Table Tennis. I actually bought it myself on a sale recently, but uh, yeah. You can ask people for their games here or like whatever game you want to buy or you can just click Ctrl F and search for the games, you know, uh, it's your choice. But uh, yeah, just wanted to note that for people, you know, because uh, um, my message is that you guys should save money on everything you can, man, invest it in the better options, stuff like that, man. And that's why I actually uh, have made that place with Quest Referrals. Uh, and allowed you guys to post there because I wanted more people to actually uh, be able to save money on their games and also more people to post uh, their own uh, referrals slash sales. Uh, for example, I could have posted my own referrals and got a bunch of money from that, but uh, I didn't do that. Uh, I allowed you guys to actually get some money because I know quite a few people who actually got uh, hundreds of dollars using that they thanked me in the discord you can even uh, dm them uh but uh, yeah if you actually wonder how to get the um uh, your own referrals how to post them because you get five dollars for each referral that is used uh i highly recommend watching my free shiny rocks event video because pretty much you can buy shiny rocks with this you can buy games with this uh, but yeah, I'll pin it down below in the comments for you guys. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Make sure to follow your dreams. Make sure to actually, um, you know, do your work, man. And if you have some homework, do it, man. Uh, it won't do it, uh, you know, itself, man. Uh, so you gotta put in the work, man, if you want to achieve greatness, man. Uh, that's my <sighs> message for you today. And uh, yeah, may God bless you guys. Make sure to subscribe. See you later. Bye-bye. Make sure to watch one of the videos that appeared here on the screen. I promise they're actually interesting.